It's a bird. It's a plane. It's, it's, it's a BR Class 4 DD. Okay, what did Oliver Bully do this time? The brainchild of the Southern Railway's chief mechanical engineer, Oliver Bullied, the Class 4DD was the only double-decker train to ever serve on British mainline metals, with only two of the class ever to exist. Whilst it is extremely common to find double-decker trains in operation across the wider continent, Britain does things differently. We don't have the desire to be like them. We are strong. An empire. We... What? Uh, we don't do it because of our restrictive loading gauge. Right, that makes sense. The Class 4DD, originally conceived for the commuter line between Charing Cross and Dartford and built at Eastleigh Works, they operated as third rail EMUs between 1949 and 1971 and could carry an incredible 702 passengers across the four car set, both seated and standing. However, unlike double-decker buses or their European counterparts, their upper and lower decks alternated between high and low, ensuring the height of the train fell exactly within the clearances necessary on their route. Whilst originally designed to help solve the rapidly growing passenger numbers on the line, they were also seen as a solution to the change from 8 to 12 car train sets. The implementation of these longer sets would have resulted in the need to extend much of the existing platform infrastructure in the region at the time. Whilst seating was increased from 400 to 552 across the four car sets, it was found that the excess number of passengers resulted in longer station waiting times to allow passengers to alight and board, as each door now served 24 seats instead of the usual 12. It was also found that the upper deck, which was accessible by a short flight of stairs from the lower platform level compartments, received poor feedback, as they were found to be cramped and poorly ventilated. This was due to a lack of opening windows on the upper level due to their placement on the curved roofline. The reason for the placement of these windows was due to the height restrictions implemented due to the loading gauge, and whilst a solution was introduced by usage of pressure ventilation, the equipment proved to be unreliable at best. The two units, whilst being listed under their own designations 4001 and 4002, ran together for most of their life as one single eight-car unit but were occasionally separated at various points throughout their running life. Amazingly, despite being a unique class of two, they remained in service all the way until October 1971, suffering little in terms of failures and were deemed technically a technical success. However, unfortunately for Oliver Bullied, they were not deemed the solution for the problem of passenger numbers and were withdrawn, with all but two of the driving cars cut up for scrap after covering 700,000 miles. One entire unit and a coach from the other were scrapped at Hu Junction Yard in 1973, with two driving ends and a coach surviving into presentation. They were bought by Ashford Steam Centre. However, the coach was cut up upon the closing of the centre by its creditors in August 1984. The two surviving driving ends were separated, with one ending up at Northampton Ironstone Museum and the other being taken under the wing of the bullied 4DD Double Deck EMU Supporters Group. Unfortunately, neither are on public display or are in a near preserved state, with one being the victim of heavy vandalisation. Thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this episode of Off The Rails, why not leave a like and consider subscribing so that you don't miss future videos.